the Mind Zone on Wham! Next, Art Attack brings out the artist in everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. <laughs> The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. Hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Next, Art Attack brings out the artist in everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. <laughs> The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. Hey, I'm Centrao, and you're in the Mind Zone. <laughs> hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Up next, discover different cultures watching We Are the Children. So hang around and see if you can answer this. <laughs> The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for kids grades 3 to 6. Hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Next, Art Attack brings out the artist in everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. <laughs> The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. Hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Next, Art Attack brings out the artist in everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. <laughs> The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. <laughs> hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Next, find out about different cultures in Kids Planet Video. So stick around and see if you can answer this. <laughs> And you're in the mind zone. Ow! Hey, you're in the mind zone on Wham! Next, get a guide to fun educational programming. And while you're watching, think about this. This old acrylic paint. Mind Zone on Wham! Next, Art Attack brings out the artist in everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. You're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Next, Art Attack brings out the artist in everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. Hey, I'm Missy and you're in the Mind Zone. Hey, you're in the mind zone on Wham. You need, and that makes home buying easy. Hello there, and welcome once again. Hey, you're in the mind zone on Wham. Next, Art Attack brings out the artist in everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. <laughs> The 
following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. Hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Next, Art Attack brings out the artists and everyone. So stick around and see if you can do this. <laughs> The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for all school-age children. Hey, I'm Missy and you're in the Mind Zone. Ah. Oh. Hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Don't go anywhere, because up next is Social Studies, followed by a half hour of personal development. Then, hang on, because there's two fun-filled hours of science and math. cha cha, -cha. Hey, what's up? I'm Jeremy. We're in New York. I love this place so much. All the great sights, the sounds, the people. I love going to the rock concerts, seeing all the great musical shows, going to the great restaurants. I'm going to show you some of my favorite places. Hopefully, they'll be your favorite places, too. Come on. I'm here aboard the famous Circle Line boat to visit a very beautiful lady. And if you don't know who she is, you're in deep trouble. She's the Statue of Liberty. She stands about a football field tall, given as a gift to us from the French. But she's not the only thing standing tall around here. Here we are at the Empire State Building, one of the tallest buildings in the U.S. In fact, it was the tallest up until 1971 when the World Trade Center was built. That's now the tallest in New York City. Come on, you remember this building from movies like King Kong? Well, I'm going up right now, so why don't you come with me? Watch how high you go, because your ears will start to pop. Can you believe it? We're at the observation deck of the Empire State Building. Look around here. Where else in the world are you going to see a view like this? Nowhere, baby, nowhere. Look, it's New York. You can see anything from here. This world, yeah! Some like 8 million people in New York City, but do you know where they came from? All over the place. People stayed on boats for two weeks, waiting to come here. Ellis Island, the official port of entry for the immigrants. They came looking for streets paved with gold, opportunity, and freedom. They stayed and built the U.S. as we know it today. This is the big show, Times Square. This is where like two million people come on New Year's Eve to watch Dick Clark drop that 200 pound bolt. But that's not the only big thing that goes on here. You got all these great restaurants and theaters. You got MTV Live right there. You got the All Star Cafe. This place is totally awesome. On the way to Rockefeller Center, I had to stop and point this out to you. Radio City Music Hall. It's the largest indoor theater in the world. It's where all the great concerts and award shows are held, even the MTV Music Awards. Come on, let's go. All right, so does this place look familiar? Come on, I know you've seen it. It's where that big Christmas tree stands in the wintertime. Also, in Home Alone 2, this was right here. In the wintertime, they do all that ice skating and everything, but in the summertime, it's just a cafe. You look around, there's 18 skyscrapers here, including NBC Studios. You got people here from business, from sales, from finance. Enough about business, though. Where do you think kids in New York play? Come on, I'll show you. We're in Central Park, the biggest park in New York City. Most kids in New York don't have a backyard, so this is a backyard. Imagine going boating, rollerblading, hiking. You can do anything here. This place is great. This is where the kids have fun. You want to see where the big boys have fun? Come on, i got one more place to show you. This is where the big boys play, Yankee Stadium, the house that Ruth built. But there were other big stars here, too, like Mickey Mantle, Reggie Jackson, Joe DiMaggio. These guys smack home runs like it was nothing. Now let's go to the game. I got my glove. I got my hat. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Play ball! Check it out. Look where we are now. Special access to the New York Yankees bullpen. This is where all the pitchers warm up before the game. And right now, I'm going to take my pitch. What are the best baseball fans in the world? Uh, Yankee fans. Go Yankees! As you can tell by my hot dog, it's almost game time. The cameraman's getting kicked out. Are you bummed, camera dude? Well, I'm not, so I'm sticking around for the game. 
why don't you guys come and visit? Why don't you come to New York? The best city in the world. We can hang out. Maybe we'll chill. Maybe you'll see me. See you later. School's out. Mom took the gang to soccer. The TV is yours. Time to ozone. It's your world. Wham brings it to you. Every weekday starting at 3. Get lost in cyberspace. Ready for liftoff? Man, get a kick out of life. Picture yourself on a school paper. It's a great idea. Find yourself in the arms of a crush. <sighs> Ozone! How two boys survive on a penny a day. It's half my new bike fund. Where a young girl can learn to dream. I'm gonna be a famous writer someday. All the mysteries a kid could want. I don't like this. So, what would life be without TV? We should never have left Boston. Yeah, right. It's your world. Ozone brings it to you. Relax and take in the ozone. Weekdays starting at 3 on Wham. Aloha from the Waimea Valley, home of the Waimea Falls Park on Oahu. I'm Lokilani Mitchell, and you're watching Wham, America's Kids Network. Ah. Oh. Hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham. Don't go anywhere, because up next is Social Studies, followed by a half hour of personal development. Then, hang on, because there's two fun-filled hours of science and math. Check it, check. Hey, I'm Shannon. I'm Tristan, and this is Connecticut, the Constitution State. I'm up in Hartford. I'm here in Southern Connecticut. And we've been given the challenge to show you what's cool in Connecticut. Of course, I'll be showing you all the best places. Yeah, right. See this house? This is my house. It's over 250 years old. It was spared from the British burnings during the Revolutionary War. And across the street, there's one of the oldest cemeteries in Connecticut. But don't worry, it's not freaky. Oh, yeah? You see that? That's the first state house built in the U.S. But take a look at this. Here is where the British landed during the Revolutionary War. Down there is Long Island, and there's Manhattan. My mom commutes there every day by train. <laughs> but look at this, real dinosaur tracks. These tracks are 200 million years old, and they represent the largest meat eater that lived in the early Jurassic. And there are more tracks found in the Connecticut Valley than anywhere else in the world. We go to the beach to see marine life, but in the winter, we come here. So We're going to go in and feed the otters. Um, this is something that we do three times a day, twice in front of the public. Let me show you exactly what we're going to be feeding. This fish right here is, oh, it looks good, doesn't it? This is called capelin. It's almost like a hot fudge sundae, so they love this stuff. As you might know, otters do bite, so we want to be very careful when working with them. And this is the house Noah Webster grew up in. Ever heard of the Webster Dictionary? He wrote it. Look at the definition for a cat. It is a deceitful animal, and when mad, extremely spiteful, it is kept in a house chiefly for the purpose of catching rats and mice. Whoa, this guy's really out of date. Hi, Tristan. This is the HMS Rose, one of the few square rig sailing ships still in the water today. The Rose was built in 1970 up in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, as a sailing training vessel. Anybody can come aboard for a week or more and uh, learn how to sail a ship like this. I've been on the ship when we've hit 50-foot waves crashing over the side of the ship and it's been really hard wheels spinning out of control and it takes two people to control the boat have you ever heard of the books the adventures of tom sawyer or huckleberry finn mark twain wrote both of those books he lived here with his family enough with history let's go high tech <laughs> to be the coolest thing at the Discovery Museum. And you can't forget the museum built for the most famous entertainer of all time, P.T. Barnum. P.T. Barnum lived and died here in Bridgeport. He made about a gazillion dollars 
off of displaying freaks, oh. and another gazillion off of his circus. Have you ever heard of General Tom Thumb? He was a very, very small man. He's 25 in this picture, and he's only a little above my waist. He was from Bridgeport, too. He and P.T. Barnum would travel all across the world to entertain people. <laughs> yeah. This is a carriage belonging to Tom Thumb. Isn't it small? Sure, I love the Barnum Museum, but there are some things that really freak me out. <laughs> hey, if you want to learn more information about Connecticut, write down this address. There's a lot more to know. Hey, too bad you can't keep up with the master. Whatever. See ya. Kids, teachers, parents, students, you have earned a higher level of education. The Mind Zone. So get your head set on knowledge. Because the Mind Zone's crammed full of cool shows. Math. Art. Art. Science. Science. Music. Music. Career. Career. Get it in. All designed to boost your brain. So if you snooze, you don't lose. Because it's on Monday through Friday till 3 p.m. Now this is where the fun begins. And teachers, it's great for the classroom. Because there's a discussion question before each show to get those kids thinking. So get the lead out, open your mind, and take it to the Mind Zone on Wham! <laughs> hey, you're in the Mind Zone on Wham! Up next, discover different cultures watching We Are the Children. So hang around and see if you can answer this. The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom. It's rated TVY7 and is suitable for kids grades 3 to 6. Mind Zone. Oh. Hey, you're in the middle of social studies. Up next, open your mind to some personal development. Then, hang on for science and math. Check it out.